What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and oh my goodness, I did not expect to be making this video today. We have got some actual new Borderlands 3 news, and I'm talking substantial news. Not an offhand tweet from Randy Pitchford, not a rumor, we're talking screenshots, we're talking actual substantial official Borderlands 3 news. And this has not happened pretty much ever. Now guys, if you enjoy this content and want to see more Borderlands 3 content, please remember to support the video by liking, commenting, and especially sharing. It's a very simple thing to do, but it really does help me out, and I really appreciate those of you who do do it. Now, Borderlands 3. I love the Borderlands franchise. I mostly do Destiny now, but the reason I got into uh, loot-based first-person shooters was because of Borderlands. Played the crap out of Borderlands 1, played the crap out of Borderlands 2, and even played the crap out of Borderlands the pre-sequel. However, lips have been sealed for the most part involving Borderlands 3. Us Borderlands fans have all expected it, but there has been no real substantial news until now. So, what happened? Well, out of the blue, Randy Pitchford and other members of the Gearbox team hosted a presentation at GDC Game Developers Conference 2017, and they showed off a tech demo for Borderlands 3. They didn't call this the Gearbox tech demo, they called it the Borderlands 3 tech demo. So, again, official news here. And the purpose of this presentation was really just to do exactly what it announced. It was very much a tech demo. They were showing off a lot of the new stuff they could do in the new engine they're using, which is the Unreal Engine 4. And I've got to say, from the stuff they showed, uh, for example, they showed the effect of lighting in different areas, they showed the effect of smoke, in those same areas, they showed the effect of surfaces and how they can manipulate what type of object is made of what type of material. You can have a metallic gleam to stuff, you can have kind of a glowing wetness also to stuff, and you can just do a lot of things with this engine that they showed off. Uh, they showed off some a little bit of physics and particle effects involving liquid and the movement of that liquid. They showed off a lot of stuff. We also got to see kind of, it's so crazy to think about because again, it's been so tight-lipped that this is huge news coming really out of nowhere. We got to see an actual look at a Borderlands 3 character model. Now this isn't a Borderlands 3 character, this isn't one of the new Vault Hunters, but it's a model that they're using when they're making Borderlands 3. So we gotta take a little bit of a look on that. So it's very much maintaining the same classic Borderlands style. I would say it looks better, absolutely looks better, than Borderlands 2. So it's Borderlands 2 upgraded without, again, without abandoning at all that classic Borderlands style. You still have the very sharp cell shading, you have the very sharp edges and stuff, and it just screams Borderlands. And we also got to see at the very end of the presentation, they kind of zoomed out, and I'm showing you guys this now in the background gameplay, and you could see just the, the character with the environment, and it's just making me crazy. It's just, ah, oh, I want Borderlands 3 to come out so bad because this just is exactly what I want to see. So what does this mean for you as a Borderlands fan? Well, again, this is big news because it's the first anything of substance we have gotten about Borderlands 3. And what it really means is that they're working on the game. Now, I know that isn't huge news and that is something that we already did know from Randy Pitchford. He said, look, Borderlands 3 is coming. You can expect it sometime in the future. But this showcases that they are at a certain point within their development. They have the, all of this technology in terms of what they've been working on in particle physics and lighting and shading, all of that stuff in materials, in objects. It's just so much stuff they showed off today. And that means that Gearbox is at a certain point within Borderlands 3's development. It doesn't mean that they just started because, of course, they've got to do all of the programming. They've got to do all of the coding for the effects that they showed off today, for the art style that they showed off today. So they are are, you know, they're not just starting, they're definitely well into the development of this game. With that being said, Randy Pitchford did say... Uh, also, if you're a customer that's looking forward uh, to a future Borderlands game, we'll, we'll, we're working on it. 
Uh, we're, we're, we'll, get, we'll get you soon. So, I mean, he said soon. He said it's coming soon. So, Borderlands 3 2017? Well, I don't exactly think so. Unfortunately, I think that that quote I just showed you is going to be taken out of context by a bunch of people who don't know what they're talking about. And Borderlands 3 is not likely to come anywhere in 2017. Maybe fall 2018, we can see potentially in a release date around that time. And the reason being is because they're showing off a tech demo. And they were very, very adamant in saying that it's just a tech demo. This is not a video game. And I think the main reason that they showed this off today was just kind of remind everyone, hey, Borderlands 3 exists. Like, we're still making this game. It has been years and years and years, I think five plus years, since Borderlands 2. And so, Borderlands fans are kind of getting impatient. Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel still see play. There's still people streaming like Borderlands 2 permadead runs and all of this stuff. So it definitely still does have a, a live community, but it's really withering as of late. And of course, as each new game comes out, Mass Effect, um, even Call of Duty is coming out, Battlefield's coming out, you're kind of siphoning off different chunks of that community. So it's very important for them to do something like this and just to kind of keep it fresh in everyone's mind. Because of course we're all talking about this now. But again, the fact that they're showing a tech demo, and not only that, but a tech demo that focuses on, you know, particles and lighting and stuff like that, rather than interesting interactions. It would have been a little bit more telling if they showed uh, the different ways that ragdolls would be affected, the different ways that um, elements would make splashes when they're shots, that how guns would work in the game, how reloading would look in cer certain lighting and stuff. They could have showed off a lot more assets within the game. And the fact that they didn't show that, that we just saw one character model, that we saw some pretty baseline environments, that we didn't see any massive environments, we didn't see any parts of the actual game, says to me that they aren't that far along in development. They're certainly somewhere in the middle of development, but they aren't ready to release, again, anywhere in 2017. And that, that's just my opinion, but, you know, that's what uh, the evidence is really telling me. Now, with all of that being said, this is definitely some good news for Borderlands fans. It kind of shows that Gearbox is now shifting their focus onto Borderlands 3 after a you know, ill-advised attempt to make Battleborn. And that, that game just did not pan out. It was actually a pretty fun game, just Overwatch killed it. So Borderlands will hopefully bring Gearbox back to the forefront. I'm sure Gearbox, after taking a probably financial hit on Battleborn, it just didn't do that well. They're looking in to dig their heels in and to make a game that will absolutely be profitable for that studio, which will be Borderlands 3. That game will sell like hotcakes pretty much no matter what's in it. And so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Borderlands 3 content in the future, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And if you actually want to be notified of new uploads, be sure to press the bell beside subscribe. If you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick. Cacus. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.